Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you all are having a great day. So today I'm going to do my empties video. And here's all my empties in here. And I'm going to talk through stuff that I have I have finished up and let you guys know my thoughts on it. I love watching empties videos because I feel like that is the best review is when someone has finished the entire product, you know? So I hope you guys find this helpful. Let's jump in. You guys already know probably I have a package of the cotton clouds. I get these on Amazon in bulk and it is so worth it. They're amazing. They're the same thing to me as the Shiseido ones. So I definitely recommend those. The next thing I finished was my Sunday Riley Good Jeans Treatment. This is my favorite serum and it actually, I think I finished the Luna Oil too. I did, but it's not in here. Where are you be? Yes, the Luna Oil. So this is like my two skincare must-haves. I use the Sunday Riley Good Jeans Serum in the mornings and then I use the Luna Oil in the evenings right before bed. And my skin has never been better since these two products and when I sway away from them, I break out. So, love these two products, definitely recommend. I've been through multiple bottles of the Good Jeans and they're amazing. Now, the next thing I have is the Fresh Sugar Face Polish. Girl, please! This is still good. It must have been, I have another basket like this that has all of my mask, my face mask. So, that is not supposed to be in my trash. Um, I do have some Fresh products, though. I have two things from Fresh that I did finish. The first one is the Original Brown Sugar Body Polish. You guys, this is the bomb. This is a sugar scrub, but it has some kind of oil in it. So, when you get out of the bath after exfoliating your body, you do not even need to put on a moisturizer. That's how good this is. I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this faux sure. show. And then I will definitely be purchasing the um, dry rice oil by uh, Fresh as well. This is just, I use this as a body oil. So when I get out of the bath, I take a bath every single night. When I get out of the bath, I put this all over my body and I love body oil and the way this one smells, this is the rice one. It smells so amazing. And I think that they have this scent in a body perfume. And if they do, I'm buying it. But this is really worth the money, in my opinion. And then another body product is the Charity Pot. And it has a cough drop stuck on it. This is a product from Lush that I enjoyed. I enjoyed because it gives to charity. I enjoyed because it was a nice lotion. It's definitely not a holy grail, though. I mean, there wasn't a really good scent to it. It's pretty much just doesn't smell like anything. Um, so, I don't know. I probably wouldn't repurchase that. Now, this is by the brand Glow Minerals, and it is their luxury hand cream. I actually really like this. Uh, I don't remember how much it costs, or maybe they sent it to me. I can't really remember. If it's over like $10, I would say it's probably not worth the price, but it was a good cream. If you're making a purchase on Glow Minerals and you see this, I would definitely say it's a it's a good one or if it was on sale or something like that oh rest in peace benefit highbrow this is one of my favorite makeup products and my darn dog got a hold of it and tore it up it's one of those pinky brightening shades i used to use this all over my lid to brighten up my lids and use as a primer i also use it to clean up my brows and highlight my brow bone. I guess I could technically still use it, but I just feel like it's all germy now. So I'm going to go ahead and toss it. The next product I finish up is always in my empties. It is the Win Cleansing Conditioner. I don't use a shampoo on my hair. I only use cleansing conditioner and I only use Win. I filmed a video about my experience with Win and the footage, it, there was no sound. Like my mouth was moving, but there was no sound. So if you guys still want to see that video, let me know and I will refilm it because I've been using Win almost three years now. So I have a lot of opinions about it. Um, okay, the next thing, I finally finished my Nicole Guerrero Best Damn Lip Mask. And I really liked this. The only thing is, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the texture. It's very, very thick. It's even thicker than the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. So what I would recommend, it's very hydrating. This is one that I could only wear at nighttime. 
Um, definitely not during the day. It's kind of sticky, uh, but I do love it. What I would recommend is dipping your finger in there and then getting it between your fingers and rubbing them together and really using the warmth of your body heat to kind of melt the consistency and then it goes on beautifully. It's a really good lip mask. Um, I mean, I think the Aquaphor from the drugstore does just as good, but if you want something like rose scented and you know, you want to support another YouTuber, I would definitely say it's a good purchase. Now, the next thing I finished was this little Bosha Detoxifying Black Cleanser. Um, this was really, really good. Like, this is something that you start rubbing in on your face and it, it gets hot. It's like a heated thing. It's so weird. But I loved it. And I would think about repurchasing that, depending on the price. Um, I finished up my Scent Bird. Does this have the scent? They sent me one bottle. And I loved it. I think it's a great gift idea, but I didn't sign up for it. I'm really picky on my scents. This is the color or the thing Muggler Angel. Theory Muggler Angel. If I can find the notes on this, I will annotate them. But I liked the way that smelled really good. And I think Scentbird's such a good like gift idea. But I'm so picky with scents, I just buy what I want and, you know go from there. Okay, next thing is the Bosha BB Cream Oil Free. I love this stuff. This is the smaller size and I have the bigger one. Um, the only thing is once you have it for so long, it becomes a weird texture. It's like all the watery oil stuff, or no, it's oil free, so I don't know what it is, but it's like this watery consistency and then it's in one area and then when you squirt it out you just get a little bit of the pigment it's very odd you have to shake it a lot but this one i think got just got too old but i love that i do love the product you just have to use it a lot or else it'll start getting weird texture okay this was the thermal spring water i had got this in a um whatever like a subscription box i liked it but i would not buy this it just feels like fix plus but I think it's just water like it doesn't have really anything good in it does it I don't even know this isn't even English I like I can't read it um so I don't think I would buy that no I know I wouldn't <laughs> uh this was my favorite dry shampoo for forever it's the Amika perk up dry shampoo the packaging of Amika products make me smile and I actually love this, this is probably my favorite high-end um, dry shampoo, but I've started using the Garnier Fructiste one, and it's just as good, it smells good, and it's way cheaper, so I would recommend that over that one. I did finish Valor, Valor, my essential oil. I can't remember what we use this for. I think it might be for mood. So I finished this, we use a diffuser. I love essential oils. And the next thing, I finished up a couple of samples of the Needles No More by Dr. Brandt. And I actually have more samples and I love this product. It's so expensive. It's so expensive though, but I really think that it works. It's not a long-term um, line filler for sure. But if you put this on in the mornings, like I put it on my forehead lines in the mornings, throughout the day, your, your muscles really do start to... Um, I don't know. They start to tighten and firm around those lines. I don't know. It's very weird. Somehow it does diminish lines, but only for a few hours. It's not like it's going to take them away forever. You know? I wish. We always finish uh, a couple of bottles of the Downy Unstoppables. You put them in your washing machine. It makes your clothes smell so wonderful. But did you guys know they have candles and they smell just as good? These are amazing candles. This is the scent Shimmer. That's funny. I really actually like the rain scent and the fresh scent better, but I love these candles so much. If you just want to pick up a candle from Target that is comparable, honestly, to Bath & Body Works, and it, this will seriously fill your whole house with this smell, get the Unstoppables. They're the bomb. I really like them. Um, the next thing I finished was this Wild Rose Sleeping Facial, and I, it's by Corez. Anything from Corez that I've tried, I've actually really liked, and I liked this 
sleeping mask or sleeping facial. However, I have since got the Sleep Type by Pharmacy, and I think they're around the same price, the Corez and the Pharmacy. I like this one better. My skin feels so hydrated when I wake up in the mornings after this Sleep Type mask, so I would, I would recommend the Pharmacy one over that Corez. Here is another thing my dog tore up. I don't even know. I guess these fall off the shelf. Ooh, and there's a hair. Nasty. Anyways, he tore up the lid. He tore up half of the lipstick. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Lipstick. I can't remember the color of it, but I really liked this lipstick. Here is another fresh product that I tried. It's the Soft Cream. And now that I think about it, I think Soft Cream is supposed to take off your makeup. Isn't it? Like the Pond? No, that's Cold Cream. I don't know, but I use this as a face moisturizer and I really liked it. I'm telling you guys, if you can get one of those sample packs of a whole bunch of fresh products, try them because I haven't found a dud in the line. And then the last few things are skincare or face mask, sheet mask. I do a sheet mask at least once a week and I try to do it even more than that. No, I do a face mask twice a week. One time I'll do a sheet mask and the other time I'll do like a detox mask. Anywho, this was my favorite one, the SK2, and this is called a facial treatment mask. They sent me this through Influencer, and I loved the mask. They also sent me like a sample size of their essence, their liquid essence or whatever it's called, but I really actually preferred this face mask. It was so amazing. My skin felt better than it ever has before after a mask. Now, second to that, I really like the Tony Moly mask. I mean, I really do. This is a skin purifying and a moisturizing. My skin always feels amazing after sheet masks. Do I think that sheet masks make a long-term effect? No, but I really like the effect that they make for the next couple of days. My skin always feels super hydrated after I use a sheet mask. This, these two actually were from Mask Box, which is a monthly subscription service for $10. They send you three masks. This one was a honey one. This was so nice. I wouldn't be able to do this in the morning though because it was really, really, like even after I washed it off, my skin was really hydrated, which sounds good. But you know how sometimes it's to the point where it's too hydrated and your makeup looks funky over it? That's how mine was with this one. And then this is the, I don't know, this is a like Korean face mask, which works beautifully. Mask box, a lot of times will send Korean skincare, which I love. And then this one I remember was really expensive. It's their Karuna Hydrating Face Mask, and it's a cloth mask. And um, I, can't, I think this is like $10 for this one sheet mask, and I do not think it's worth that. However, I could tell a difference between this and like the Tony Moly mask. Like, I like this one better, but not to pay $10 for. No, thank you. So, that is it for my empties video. I'm going to do a video, a sample showdown next. I'm going to film that next, so that that video will be up next. But um, I have been doing that the past couple of months. I will put my little skincare and, like, foundation and stuff samples in another box, and I'll do a complete video on these as well, which it's making me use my samples more, which I appreciate because I have a million samples to use up. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you finished up recently, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.